back to my kitchen. Y'all, listen. That greedy husband of mine has gotten me into this. I received a text message while at work last week, and he says, Babe, can you do an apple pie pound cake? I'm like, what in the world is an apple pie pound cake? So that's what we're doing today, and I've just kind of figured it out, hopefully, and I'm going to make this cake in a way that I think it's supposed to taste and using the spices and ingredients that I think an apple pie pound cake would need. So we're all flying by the seat of our pants right now. I'm bringing you guys along with me. I've never done this cake before. I've never done a test cake, but we're getting ready to do it today, okay? So I'm gonna start with, I've cut up, I've washed my hands thoroughly, first and foremost. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, y'all. That's just nasty. But as I was getting ready to say, I have washed thoroughly four Granny Smith apples. This was the fifth one I didn't need, okay? So we have four Granny Smith apples. I've washed them, peeled them, cubed them, and I'm putting them in this pan, okay? Because I need to get these to cooking before I get to running my mouth, okay? So I'm turning it on. And then to that, let's see, I want to add just a dab of, just a little bit. I don't know why I didn't have this out already. My apologies, y'all. She had it already out. But I want to add, rather than putting water, I want to add just a couple of little tablespoons of apple juice, okay? That's it. Because what you don't want, you don't want, um, don't want your apple pie filling to be too runny okay so I have that on the stove and to that I have half cup of brown sugar and I have one teaspoon of cinnamon that's in here okay so we're gonna add that to our apple mixture and then that way that can start cooking I want to add just a little bit of butter, just a dab, maybe about a tablespoon of butter, butter, okay? And I won't need this until the batter is all mixed up, but wanted to go on and get that done. Let's see. Let me sprinkle just a, just a little bit of salt to kind of balance out that. Okay, that's it. Where's my lid? We're going to put the lid on. I'll check it in a few minutes to see if I need to add just a little more liquid. But again, you don't want your apple pie filling to be too runny or too loose. And also, when I washed and cubed my apples, I had them sitting in water with a little bit of lemon juice. So these are the other ingredients that you're going to need. We're going to need three cups of Swan's Down cake flour. To that, I am going to add a half teaspoon of baking powder and then about fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I have already added the salt and baking powder in my mixture here with the flour and then I sifted it one more time just to make sure that they were well incorporated. Swan's Down cake flour comes pre-sifted, but I always like to sift one more time once I add the baking powder and the salt. Then we're going to need three cups of sugar. We have three sticks of butter. And it is room temperature. And I left this one in the pack so you can see that it's buttered, not margarine. We have five eggs that I've already cracked. And they are also room temperature. I have one cup of milk that is room temperature. And then I have some ground cinnamon, more cinnamon that I'll be using. Uh, maybe just a dab of nutmeg, maybe just a dab. I might want to put a little bit of that in my cake batter. Then we have pure vanilla extract. Be using a tablespoon or more of that. And then I have my cream bouquet. You guys, it's just an extra flavor that I want to add. It's not necessary. You don't have to have it. I think it has like a citrusy undertone and also it has that bakery-ish taste. Reminds you of a bakery. 
you know oftentimes people ask me what kind of how does it taste it tastes like a bakery in a bottle <laughs> so is that everything the milk eggs butter okay and then I'm also uh, when I turned the camera off I did some more brown sugar half cup brown sugar teaspoon of cinnamon because I'm going to use that in the cake so I went ahead and did more of that after I used what I had on the apples also going to spray my cake pan down thoroughly with Baker's Joy okay and okay, let's get back to the apples that I'm cooking you see they've already started to get soft so it doesn't take long for them to cook and I do want to kind of mush them up just a little bit okay in just a few minutes but what you want to do definitely taste your your apples and just see how they taste that's my oven being preheated to 325 degrees okay one thing about granny smith apples they are a little tart so these need a little bit more sugar because you want to make sure that your apples taste the way you want them to taste before you add them to your cake. You guys, this is a sugar bowl that I used, my mom and dad used when we were little. It has to be every bit of 50 years old. Isn't that something? That's sweet. Okay. So we're going to stir these up. And I want my apple pie filling to be like apple pie. You see, that's too, that's too runny. So what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of um, flour to it. And I'm going to let it continue to cook a little bit. And I do want it, um, I do want it cool before I add it to the cake. Let me turn it up. Because adding this flour, I want it to, don't want any lumps in it. So I need it really hot where it's kind of boiling. Okay. So that was maybe about a, that was about a tablespoon. I want that gooeyness, if you will, of the apple pie filling because you don't want it too runny when you add it to your cake because it can certainly affect the way you, it'll mess up your cake better if it's too runny just as simple as that okay so we're gonna let this cook and thicken up a few more minutes okay you see the difference and how the apples look now okay so I'm gonna turn off the heat and then I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla flavoring and then I'm just gonna remove it from the heat because again I need it cool before I add it to my cake so we're gonna um, don't need to cover it because I want it to cool more. Okay. Now I need these apples to be completely cooled. So I'm putting them in this dish right here. And I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. Because I need them cool before I can add them to my batter. Alright. I'm going to start by adding my three sticks of softened butter to my mixer. And then I'm going to kind of mix these three sticks of butter up for about five or ten seconds before I start adding my sugar. Then I'm going to slowly add the sugar and we're going to get that incorporated. We're going to cream the butter and the sugar for about 10 to 12 minutes. And yes, I do set a timer. Once that's creamed, it will be fluffy. The sugar should be silent. You do not want to hear those sugar crystals as they're mixing around. Once that's done, I'm going to add my eggs one at a time until they're incorporated. It only takes me, once I add an egg, I may wait about six or seven seconds before adding the next egg. So you'll see me add the first egg, you'll see me add the last egg, okay? And then once the eggs are added, then we'll come back and talk some more.
Now that the butter and sugar have been creamed, the eggs have been added, it's time for me to start alternating the dry ingredients with the wet. What I like to do is go on and add my flavorings to my milk. And then that way, that's already done, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of the cream bouquet to my milk. Then we're going to add a little bit of the pure vanilla. And now what I'm going to do next is, I mentioned adding some cinnamon and a little bit of ground nutmeg to my mixture as well because I don't just want the filling to have the apple pie taste. I want the cake part too to kind of have those spices of an apple pie. Okay? So I'm going to start with not quite a tablespoon of Let's see, maybe I should have used, let me switch this so I can be more accurate. How about that? I'm so used to grabbing that tablespoon. Okay. We're going to add a generous teaspoon to the cake batter mixture. And then, with the nutmeg, I want just a little bit. teaspoon of nutmeg okay so that was a teaspoon of cinnamon half teaspoon of nutmeg and then I can always taste it once it's mixed up and if I feel like I need something else then I will just kind of fold it in and stir it in by hand so I won't over mix it okay all right so again we're going to start with the dry ingredients we're going to alternate with the milk end with the dry ingredients and then we'll be ready to pour and bake and as a reminder you'll see me add the first bit of flour and I will not show you that entire process but you'll see me add the flour then some milk and then you'll see me in with the last little bit of flour if you want a step-by-step -step where you can see how I the time I wait in between adding or alternating ingredients, I have a vanilla pound cake for beginners that's out there, and it will show you that whole process, okay? So if you're interested, you can look at that so you can see exactly how long I wait in between mixing ingredients.
Okay, this is the time that you definitely, again, want to taste your batter to make sure that it has the seasonings um, as strong, or the spices as strong as you would like them. Okay. And if for some reason you don't like nutmeg, you don't like cinnamon, some people may want to add cloves, ginger, whatever spices that you like, that's what you can add. Honey, this is your pound cake. So add whatever spices that you and your family enjoy. But once you taste it, if you feel like you need something else or a little bit more, I would suggest just maybe sprinkle a little bit and then kind of mix it in with your hand um, with your spatula so you won't over mix it, okay? All right, now I have thoroughly sprayed my cake pan. Because I definitely do not want this or any cake to stick. So make sure your pan is thoroughly sprayed. I don't know, can you guys see the little specks of the can you see the little specks of the cinnamon and um, nutmeg in there? Okay. Here's my two pans. I have my half cup of brown sugar and my cinnamon mixture. Take some of my mixture. Put it in my pan. So you definitely want it sprayed good so that it won't stick. And here is my apple pie mixture, okay? And some of the apples I just kind of, kind of smushed them just a little bit more, so I didn't want the chunks too, too big. And I also set some aside because I'm thinking I want to drizzle some of that over the top of the cake or just have some extra if my husband wants to put some on add some to the top of his slice of cake okay now I want to be very careful because I don't want my hunks of apples to be too too big if that makes sense so I'm just gonna do some little small dollops all the way around sugar mixture and I'm going to put it right on top of the apples. And it looks like 
I need a little dot of dot of apples right there. Okay. Now we're gonna go in a little more batter. Again, we're going to save. I have some already set aside. It looks like I'm going to be able to add some of this to it. So we can just add more to the top of our cake slices. I want to just do a little swirl, being careful not to disturb the bottom of the pan. Now let's get air bubbles out. Okay, we're putting them on a, or in a, preheated 325 degree oven for at least about an hour. I'm going to set the timer for about an hour and 15 minutes, so between an hour 15, hour 30 minutes. But I will definitely check it at an hour and 15 minutes. All right, I let this one stay in whew, for about an hour and 20 minutes because of that feeling, okay? So, let me, a little handy dandy tester here and I kind of want some parts you know like what the feeling is it may be a little gooey but that's dry so hopefully we should be good I'm gonna let her cool here for a little bit and with my topping I want it to be like an apple fritter topping with the glaze 
Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know how the apple fritters taste. <laughs> so, these are the apples that I have left. So, they've kind of thickened up a little bit. And I want them a little bit looser. Because I'm going to put them over the top of the cake before I do my glaze. Well, let me I'll let it cool at least about 10 minutes. Okay. And then the glaze, you know how when you have just like the white glaze and it's, it kind of hardens a little bit? Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I want that on top of the apples. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this little simple glaze. Let me see. Can y'all see? Okay. I just want to make sure y'all can kind of see what I'm doing and y'all know I don't measure let me rest this phone off I don't measure when I for the most part when I do this glaze okay and it's real simple I'm not even going to add um, flavoring to it I'm just going to do powdered sugar and water but as always Add just a little bit of water at a time. It's probably about a tablespoon or two to get it to your desired consistency. And I want it a little thick, but I also want it horrible. And when I'm mixing it, I like to get it really thick in the beginning because it helps to smooth it out. But as you can see, that's still running. Okay, so. I'm just going to add some more powdered sugar because it wasn't going to be enough glaze for me anyway. So no worries. Okay, just a little bit more. And y'all, this is it. That's how simple it is to make a glaze. Like I say when it's thick, you can whip it and get it smoother. Right? See, look. look how smooth that is. Okay. So that's done. Just stay quick. So we'll let this cake keep cooling then we'll be ready to dump it or flip it. It's been at least 10 minutes. I felt a little hesitation when I flipped it, but ooh, it's still released. Oh, we, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we. Mm, I look like straight. Let me get that little piece. Let me show you. Ooh, y'all see that piece in there? They look like apple pie. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Yummy. I'm going to get that and put it right back on top. Okay. Do y'all hear that thunder? And y'all, my husband is going to have a fit because he has no idea that I am fixing this cake today. Oh, my goodness. Let me let you see it before I uh, put the other apples on top and glaze it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we y'all look. need to be the thumbnail, don't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let it cool.
cool a little bit more before I add the other apples for the apple fritter topping and glaze. That's pretty. I can't wait to cut into it. I'm hoping you can see on the inside like that cinnamon and the, and it really looks like it has the splotches of like the apple pie which means the cake part that's around that may, may be a little gooey. Does that make sense y'all? In it, listen. I can't wait to cut it. Cannot wait. Okay, let's add the apples. Oh, that husband of mine, you talking about doing a cake dance. <laughs> Y'all better stay tuned for the cake dance. Let's see about to have a fit. Apple pie pound cake with an apple fritter topping and glaze. He doesn't know what kind of cake this is. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is apples. That, that looks like apple. Let me try it. Let me put this out. It's nasty. Yes, right. You wash your nasty hands. I'm washing my nasty hands. That tool in your hand. My hands ain't nasty. Ooh, we y'all. I don't know what Hold this on, is gonna people. look like. Hold on. I'm gonna do this for everybody. I'm gonna taste this for all of y'all. Sir. What? Could you calm down? Just I'm gonna do this so good. Show you the cake. Now I put some extra glaze on the inside so that it don't run down. Good. That's that's apple pie. So what happened was, wait a minute, let's get out the thumbnail. That's ice cream. Push my glasses up. <laughs> that's ice cream. Wait a minute. I'm trying to make sure you can see the top. Look up, honey. Okay. So, even though I did the apples in layers, it all soaked through and came down on the top of the cake. That's what made it stick a little bit, which is fine because the top of that is really apple pie-ish. Y'all, listen. That is crazy. So, it was definitely an experiment. Like I said before, I had never done this before. Baby, how did you how did you tell me to try this cake? What did you do? You put you put um What did you do? You put nuts in here? No. And it doesn't have oh, nuts. Not butter pecan ice cream. But ice cream. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing. Some of you may want nuts on it. You can always do that. Don't All don't of worry. us don't eat 
nuts. I do, but like my do that. She doesn't really care for nuts. Diet. Um, you can also add raisins. Mm -hmm. You can add raisins, but I just kept it simple. Mm. But um, this experiment was a total hit. success. Mm. Let me tell Tastes you something. Like apple pie. Lord have mercy, <laughs> boy. Look, that's one of these. That's pretty. And does that? This look, a comfort food. Look, doesn't it look like apple fritter? I mean, that is so oh, apple fall. fritterish. Fall. I mentioned fall too because of the apples, mm. but is it good too? Tastes mm. like apple pie. You loving it too? Yeah. Look at you, Jackson over there eating some pie. Is it good, G, my baby? Okay, you guys. So this video may have been a little bit good longer because of, is good. because I had to cook the apples and go through that process. Um, How did I go through and tell you this, man? It just came. Honest to God, does that work? It just came to me. It just hit me. I said, apple pie pancake. Apple pie pancake. And I called you. I, ca call I didn't call you. What did I, how did I tell you? I came home. No. Well, wow. text you. you text I text you. Me. Text call. Text. At, at work. Think about food. Just greet it. Look, I think, boy, the fellas gonna love this. The fellas ain't getting none of that. No. Nope. We got something else in plan for that. So, we got something else planned for the apple pie. Mm. The fellas are greedy. I'm gonna eat a little they piece get now. Enough. And they don't get me a piece. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, the experiment was definitely a success. So, thank you guys so much for watching. You too slow. What they need to do? What they need to do? Y'all, that's turn on a notification bell and the bell shake. He needs to look. If y'all knew, y'all would find out he's something wrong. He's special. Shake something. Just shake something. So just turn on the notification something. bell and shake something. Just shake something. Subscribe. Hit the nosy. Hit the nosy, because y'all nosy. That's what he say. Y'all people need to taste them. Look, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for you they guys. They're tired of you doing it for them. They, I, they I look, man, I'm looking out for the people. I'm looking out for the people. You so greedy. I don't want nobody to pick up no extra weight that they don't want to pick look, up. I, I got it. I done picked it all up, y'all. Look, I got to do something. I need to get out there to walking and a running or something. Cause mm -hmm. Look, he make me sick because he ain't gaining no weight. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Just shake something. Bye. Just shake something. Just shake, 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 shake.